Jesus Christ, that is cold. Welcome to another Gaz Right video. Welcome back to a day of hybrid training here in Bali, as I like to call it, the Freddie Flintoff program. Am I in a position to talk about nutrition advice, fitness advice? Absolutely not. However, I'm enjoying it and it's giving me a sense of accountability, which we're going to talk about a little bit later, along with changing your environment. Anything I can improve, fitness, nutrition, let me know in the comments. Whilst you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Still en route to 2K subs. Let's get cooking, baby. I bad, sad. Session one, boxed off. We got the run in the bows, currently 8.25 a.m. Set up at 7.30, already a toasty 28 degrees. Um, obviously the half marathon with no training in Bali, uh, literally a week ago today, heart rate was through the roof, zone five throughout. So I wanted to make sure that I was running under 150 beats per, beats per minute. Uh, so obviously do 180 minus the old age. So for myself at the big old 30, looking at 150, it is difficult for sure. Uh, do you know what I mean? I've not been doing a lot of running in recent months, in recent years. Um, and when you combine that with the heat and taking some videos and dodging traffic in Changu because this is the busiest place ever. So even early morning, there's still a lot of uh, bikes and stuff on the road to get in and around and weaving uh, through all the old streets. We got it done um, just over 30 minutes. Obviously, it stopped a couple of times just to take a few JPEGs, a few photos. But yeah, don't really care about the time at the minute. It's all about running under 150 BPM. Um, hopefully, I can just whack on the screen now the actual rolling uh, BPM across six. Obviously, I only have the, the figures from the end because I've got Emma's watch on, which is less than ideal, mate. But you know, we make do. Um, and I think, do you know what I mean, when we're traveling or when you're not working, and you're just doing stuff on your own, there's a, just a lack of accountability. Like if you wake up and you think, oh, I'm tired, it's so easy and so tempting to, uh, to go back to sleep. Uh, I was just thinking last night that if, if anyone's watched the McGregor documentary, where he's just like, if you say you're gonna get up at six, get up at six. If you say you're gonna go to the gym, go to the gym. So I woke up this morning with McGregor on the mind saying, get it done. So yeah, finished the old runoff, got down um, to near the beach. I mean, running down near the beach and when it's warm weather, do you know what I mean? It's a bonus because it's lovely setting and um, uh, and it's nice and warm when you get out running but yeah it's a little bit toasty uh, we got it done um, and I saw some really interesting stuff recently about running and it was basically saying that I mean, you don't get better, uh, you don't get a higher deadlift or a higher squat by squatting 20 kgs 500 times. Do you know what I mean? You increase the weight, you get that progressive overload, and you have a higher overall one rep max in that area. So I was like, well, exactly. So why can't I do some sprints uh, and get faster, which will hopefully increase aerobic anaerobic capacity, thus improving the old 5k time? Um, so yeah, white out some sprints. Um, I was going to do 10, but I did six. Uh, only short sprints, like 30 meters, um, looking slow as chips. Uh, but you know what I mean, you've got to start somewhere or restart somewhere. I was never very good at sprinting and that is definitely translated uh, to later life. Um, but yeah, my hamstring was twinging a bit, so that's never <laughs> a good sign, but hopefully it's just, you know I mean, reigniting uh, some of the fibers. Um, and this, a little bit of added motivation, if anyone is over the age of 30, 95% of people over the age of 30 will never sprint again in their lives. So if you want to be one of the 5%, if you want to join an elite club of athletes like myself with the visor that yes, it does make you run 6.9% faster than get some sprints in the bones. But yeah, gonna get some more accountability, gonna get some more sprints, gonna get some more 5Ks and we're gonna keep the fitness rolling. But oh baby, we're gonna take in a little bit of the morning action on the sea, just absolutely ruthless behavior get a little bit of vitamin d in the bones i tell you what it's hard when you're running but it's absolutely beautiful when you're uh, you're chilling just now so yeah gonna take a bit of this in sit and watch a couple of the surfers and then get some food in the bones and refuel before the afternoon Woo! run 
well and truly in the bones. I'm not going to be able to taste test anything because the music is pretty light. I'm going to have to talk very quickly into the old microphone. Rested, recuperated, been doing a little bit of editing for a little reel, which if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. Daily uploads on there. But um, let's get a little close up. So I've gone for the full bowl. This place is unbelievable. The common right at the end of our street. We've got pumpkin, miso eggplant. We've got chicken, adobo chicken. Nice bit of spice, but not going to blow the absolute socks off you. The brine rice. They're a little bit skimpy on the old feta today, but we've got some sweet potatoes, some normal cheese, and some extras as well. Do you know what I mean? Sam's been on the channel, nutritionist expert, so we're trying to make a few better choices. All in all, a little bit of protein in every meal, and if you get a nice colourful plate, that is usually half of the old battle. Lots of nutrients, not lots of good stuff I'm going to be tucking in. Um, give a little close-up on yours. Fairly similar, but Em's gone for the kimchi. She is Asian at heart. Literally has kimchi with every meal she can do. A little bit of broccoli in the system as well. But yeah, ruthless flavours, ruthless combinations. What more do you want on that? It's a banger. And a couple of eggs coming as well. Things you love to see. Shout out, Eddie. Change your environment, change your life. Ultimately, we're a product of the environment we're in, the people we spend our time with. Um, I was originally going to do today just on hybrid training, um, and just a little bit of running, a little bit of the old fitness, but a few words of wisdom. Um, we're talking yesterday on the Creator Club called Plug In The Boys, shout out Louis and Co, as always, but people were talking about like inspiration, or how to decide what you want to do in life, or how to do, get more motivated for stuff. And ultimately, I've done more fitness in the last six weeks in Bali, probably it's not, uh, you wouldn't think it with this rig and this tan, but. Uh, and I was kind of thinking, like, what is the reason for that? Going to the gym now this afternoon, my walk to the gym is so nice here. Do you know what I mean? All across the little back roads, all down the beach now behind me. Insane setting, insane views. You're getting a bit of a tan. It's just a nice vibe. Um, if you're walking to the gym in the pouring rain back in the UK, or you were driving after a hard day's work, or you're driving, do you know what I mean? An insane amount of traffic. Do you know what I mean? It's not motivating. It doesn't make you want to do it. So your environment either, do you know what I mean? Amplifies that or, or obviously detracts. Um, from it as well and I think years and years ago when Google were founded they want what they wanted the best engineers to go and work there so what do you do you can either pay extremely high salaries which obviously Google do or or and or you can create the best environment uh, to work in so people want to go and work there so do you know what I mean that's why they have all like the do you know what I mean? The flare setup, they have people who do like laundry, they have all, all the kind of like amenities that, that you want. But if you just create that in terms of your life, do you know what I mean? If you're in an environment where here in Bali, where everyone is like 6% body fat, in unbelievable shape, the gyms are unreal, and your commute, your walk there um, is, do you know what I mean? Down a nice beach, or you're spending a lot of time on the beach with your top off, that is going to be more conducive. That's going to be a more conducive environment to being in better shape. Um, and obviously, yeah, the same applies with, do you know what I mean? Business or whether it's your place of work, if you enjoy being in that place of work, if you see value in it and if you see, do you know what I mean, you enjoy spending your time there as well, whether it's, do you know I mean, working with friends or colleagues who then become friends, that is also going to be more motivating for you to get in the mixer. So I think a lot of the time, a change in environment, that's why people change jobs, because, do you know what I mean, they don't like the people, they don't like the work that they're doing, um, and I think that change in environment can often give a big shape up, a big twist up in the old life. So if you are stuck, if you are at a crossroads, change your environment, and hopefully some positive effects will come. Anyway, we digress from the training. We're gonna be flying in to the wrong gym. My opinion, it's the best gym in Bali, the best gym in Changu, or the best one I've been to thus far. Silly, silly vibes, which obviously you will see very shortly. But we're gonna be doing another session from the pure boys, silly blokes who live out in Australia. We're gonna try and get involved in a little run club um, that they do, but it's a full body with a focus on push. I think perfect for you doing like traveling or I just enjoy the full body stuff more because I mean, I don't wanna go in there and do a full day of legs. That is not motivating uh, at all. So yeah, gonna be flying through a little session um, with them. Um, and then yeah, get a little bit of rest, recovery, recuperation. Any questions down below, fade the music. Let's get in there, baby. Yeah, I gotta keep dreaming, gonna keep going. Yeah, I gotta keep pushing, gonna keep breathing. Yeah, I gotta keep working. Yeah, this for the moment, start with a million. And I want my mansion, so my family knows that. We are set for life, yeah, ain't nothing that's gonna take over. She know what they gonna take it, but I grab it, I'ma have it. I'ma cut to my habits, so I gotta do it, man, I thought I'm the madness. Cause I'm really better, man, I want my status, damn. They gonna see that I do this, they gonna see that I did this, though. Now they say, oh shit, I can't do the same with you kidding, bro. Cause I spend my time just working, but I spend my time just grinding. But I spend my time in the studio with these lyrics. Just 
another G-Dubs video boxed off, planned, a lovely little sunset behind us, but you know, not every day you can get a beautiful one here in Bali, a little bit of sun, and we will take it in the middle of the day after a bit of uh, a downpour. Um, like I said, I think the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video is accountability. When you gym with other people, when you run with other people, when you have, you're have you working with somebody else, you have that accountability being a certain place. It's very hard to push it off or not try harder. Um, so when I've been training with, with Gus and Josh, when I've been running with the boys, the run club lads, Louis and co, do you know what I mean? It makes you do it and it also pushes you to a higher level. So I always say surround yourself with people that are better than you in different areas and you will do better in life. Um, when there's no one around, like, do you know what I mean? there's not as many people in Bali now, a few of the run club lads have left onto greener pastures. I think the, the vlogging stuff and vlogging the workouts is something I'm using as holding me accountable um, to go into the gym, getting the runs in and getting the fitness because it very much is easy just to enjoy the life here, the beach clubs, uh, the beer waris, the bing tangs, the cocktails. It is very easy to get lost in it. So we're earning our beers in the week and then enjoying them um, at the weekend. And I saw a really interesting quote the other day and it said, don't strive for perfection, strive for progress. And I think similar to like, uh, like the Olympics run in the minute and obviously the cycle and the marginal gains and what we said about the um the 100 videos of Mr. Beast improving one element of it. If you strive for perfection, you'll never hit it. And do you know what I mean? You'll, you'll see that as a negative. Whereas if you strive for progress in every element of your life and increase by 1%, do you know what I mean? That compounds over time. And what do we keep saying? Consistency compounds into success. So, words of wisdom for G Dubs. So, small weights lifted in the gym. Anything I can prove, weights, nutrition, wisdom, let me know in the comments down below. I literally respond to every single comment. I'll be back tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button, still on route to 2K subs. And remember, the chef is always cooking.